morning, Council. Sorry about that. Yeah, how y'all doing? It's your girl, Ruth. Yeah, it's time for your OPPF. <laughs> so, yeah, um, see what's happening. So I can get started on y'all houses this week. And, uh, yeah, hope y'all doing well. And anybody new, thank y'all for coming. Those that have been rocking me, thank y'all for coming back. I really appreciate it. So let's see. Uh oh. Sorry, Kim. All right, let's go and get started. And uh, we'll see what the cards say. And then, excuse me, uh, we'll do a chakra wisdom and uh, get you some type of protection spell or, you know, crystals or oil or something that'll help you. Maybe to burn it to help you even more, okay? Uh oh. Let's see what's happening. Hope y'all doing well. Okay, won't well, let me do it this way. Okay. Try one more time, y'all. Cancer, cancer. Okay, did it. Hey. Let's see. Let me shuffle this way. Uh, it's a manifest manifestation week huh that's how i feel trying to get it right in march and thing been messing up before we need to get on track trust ourselves love ourselves more you know what i'm saying letting haters go letting stuff go that's keeping us back Ain't nobody got time for that no more one more shuffle tired of that mess all them negative thoughts you know what i'm saying so let's see let's break through uh -oh. let's see what's at the bottom uh-oh okay you have a three of hearts cups emotion you any feelings hopefully not uh Let's see. Things are fa falling into place. Great. Uh, you're sharing. Connecting with others. Connecting with someone you love, maybe. Creative, romantic, compassionate, generous, sensitive, nurturing, dependable, protective. Okay. Staying out your feelings, huh? Let's see. So, past, present, future. Let's see what's going on. Uh, let's turn them over. Oh, you got the uh, food card. Okay. And the reverse. Ooh. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Let's go back to this one. Okay. Let's see what it's talking about. Cancer, cancer. Okay, what I have for this card. Cancer is, um, have you been seeing 333 a lot? You know, um. Seven, or seven. Okay. Or four times three, four in a row. So, uh, personality wise, uh, are you trying to stay focused? You see, we had, had a lot of distractions. My, I dropped the cards, then a phone call came in. You know, uh, trying to stop you from where you need to do or what you need to go. Not wanting to make the wrong decision. What's happening again in life? We just had, you know, we just had that ice storm on the, in the south. I don't know if you're in the south or not, but uh, I don't know what y'all had over there. But it's like everybody on panic mode, trying not to be, trying not to tear and panic because that's what they want us to do. Uh, you know, like, what's next? Well, how do I need to prepare next? I think somebody post, um, uh, look at a lot of survivors and the pep people, and they were talking about the gas mask. So I'm going to try to get one of those too, and then the coins and uh, gold and, uh, you know, so be able to trade and starting your own business and stuff like that. So, yeah, maybe look at them, get some ideas, survival kits, you know. Uh, you feel very passionate about your goals? You, you want to feel passionate about them? Uh, are you having a lot of distractions, like I said, just had a phone, okay. Is it in love or feeling unbalanced, okay? So maybe stay grounded. Uh, with mother nature go barefooted hug a tree 
sitting in uh sitting by yourself sitting in nature you know just kind of thinking about things uh but don't think too long and don't take action uh we have free will can go either way but what does your heart say okay don't be scared to make some kind of decision hear yourself uh of past love hurts in any way so you can fall in love again or just fall in love with you okay trust yourself forgive yourself from past mistakes you know it's gonna take time but that's kind of what we all need to do when fear and doubt comes ask yourself where are all these emotions coming from childhood life you know is it childhood life what is what's going on write it down you know keep a journal what is it i really want in this world for me and mine you know you're not alone in some of your feelings we all feel lost not in control because of what's going on today but we have to learn to research more take the blinders off and meditate and see what's really going on I made some videos on the Akashi Records. Uh, you can look that up if you want to. Just look it up for yourself and how to do that and meditate. I did find out that um, uh, Egyptian, um, I'm not going to say he's a king, T-H-O-T-H, -T -H, I always say his name wrong, but he's over the Akashi Records, him and his wife. So when you meditate and go inside, uh, those are records of things you did every time you came back to Earth and uh your past life because i did it once but i didn't know about him yet and i seen they did see i asked well what did i do before I, who was i before i came in this lifetime and they showed me who i was it's like they they slided the dark the darkness of the sky back it's, it's like they slided it back and they let me see a glimpse and i kept asking questions and how i died and stuff like that but i did notice after that i did see some type of uh evil spirit or something because I wasn't protected I had my crystals and stuff I hold them and everything but uh since I know he's in charge he requires different things in order to be protected going through that um not trying to get so angry when things are going your way see what your true path is your destiny uh, I think maybe start off with your birth chart your birth date um you know I did mine and mine equals to 12 10 to 1962 equals to 12 so 1 plus 2 is 3 so my life path my path number is 3 so just kind of like study yourself go your birth chart and study yourself uh birth charts look like this um like i said i'm gonna start on yours each one in the house because each each cancer in each house the sun in each house is something different you know you're a different type of person everybody is not the same so this is like a general reading but everybody's not the same so um that's why I decided to do that. And you can look that up. Like I say, www.astro.com. And when you get there, go to uh, horoscope, put on the chart, the menu, go to natal charts and fill out all information. It'll show you a birth chart. Um, maybe find people or a loved one you trust can talk about what's going on or whatever it is. Maybe listen to people, talk, talk things online. If you don't have anyone I don't trust people uh so just work on yourself now it's now it's your turn okay okay now hey don't matter how old you are remember this is all a game sad to say but try but try we all but we all on a stage playing a role and you have to play your part okay don't stay stuck okay keep coming back and you know don't stay stuck on stuff and then you when you pass away you have to keep coming back and repeat things over and over and over again who want to do that okay all right let's go to the next card and this is the full reverse uh like i say this is in the past so you know you made bad mistakes been foolish uh, made a lot of excuses had a lot of bad luck maybe uh, you know just uh people just always in your face or you asking for money a lot being a bugaboo maybe a little wild in relationships not taking anything serious being trickery you know uh not doing just having your money right you know just kind of like uh you know doing all kind of things you want to do and you felt and maybe like i say from past hurts so now it's time to trying to get that in order right so yeah let's go a little deeper yeah we're gonna get out this energy too um 
so you know just now you in the past probably maybe drinking too much smoking too much doing too much drugs gambling your life you know taking too many chances uh being reckless like i say you know uh taking too many risks uh not taking your project seriously or just uh scared to start it or not having confidence or don't believe in yourself uh, You know, just like I said, a lot of distractions, feeling something, keep holding you back, keeping things inside. Yeah, it was things holding you back because you have something to present to the world and they don't want you to present it. So we have to fight. This is a fight, y'all. <laughs> we always in war. So when you get moments to relax, uh, take advantage of that, okay? So you have the king upright and it is... Uh, it's a fire card. You're going to take action now. This is now, the now. You tied all that mess you did in the past, right? You know, you, you, you're thinking logically. You're thinking grown. You're not playing. You're mature now. You're wiser now. You want to master whatever you get off into. You want to uh, be authority over it, controlled over it, over it. You know, you're ready to be a leader. You know, maybe finding out what you came here for. You know, learn to protect yourself, you know, your mind and seeing that when negativity or the people that's around you, maybe you found out that they're the ones holding you back, you know, it could be just yourself, you know, your thoughts, um, you know, you being determined, uh, you know, you're not going to them old ways, you, you're recognizing your old ways, like this car says, what you did, you're being practical, friendly to an extent. You know, but not letting anybody come in your space that's bringing the old ways back. you tired of that life. You want to be reliable to yourself first and the family and friends around you that trust you, that believe in you. And if family in the past didn't or you had a bad childhood or whatever that may be, you know, you're not even letting that, you know, throw you off. Um, you're being trustworthy. You want to be trustworthy. You want to be helpful. You want to be more ambitious now, enthusiastic. Uh, sensible, stable, okay? Uh, just don't be overburdened by anything, okay? With too many responsibilities, maybe that's the past. That's why you decided to just not do anything, maybe just go off and do yourself. Uh, you know, uh, now you want to have more confidence in yourself, being self-assured, right? Okay? Let's see, that's the now. Let's see what the last one says, so. Your pinnacles, okay? Uh, in the reverse. Wait a minute, let's go a little bit back on this one. Let's see. A little bit more. Okay, a little bit more on this. Uh, just a little more on the King of Clubs. Um, just no more illusions. You're knowledgeable now. Uh, may, I, may need to ask your ancestors for assistance, spiritual guides, your higher self. You can look all that up if you don't know what all that means. Or just, and whoever you believe in. Angels. Because I had an angel come and help me the other day. Oh, that was spectacular. Like, yeah. Because someone had put some hexes on me and I felt it and it was love and it was lust. And and a good thing I took my spiritual baths and I did my thing, my rituals for the moon and protected myself. But the angel came through. Oh, man. Because I was like a little fallen and they blocked that path in human form. Check that out. I mean, wow. And they did it twice for somebody two people that was trying to come against me and they came to my rescue don't be a, don't think that they, they won't they will and uh don't be a know-it-all okay because we all don't know all of everything and we're only supposed to know what we're supposed to know this time around when we sign the contract to come back around and do okay so yeah they've been on that and that's the uh ace of diamonds uh like i say independent you probably this is uh, for future, so you're going to have to fight, okay? Uh, for your money, you have to make better decisions. You're going to have to stay focused, you know? Um, you know, finding out what matters to you now. New beginnings, okay? You can see your future now. What happened in the past was only lessons that you learned. It was supposed to happen to get you on your path, okay? saying positive things to yourself, having some kind of ritual to say to yourself at, uh, every day, a schedule that you can go by 
you know, uh, so you can help yourself stay on, on track and stay out of your comfort zones. Don't be getting all in your feelings, you know, when things don't turn out your way or don't be on, you know, time or jobs turn you down, partner turn you down, family disappoints you. Remember, you are supposed to make things happen for you. Not nobody else supposed to do it for you. Okay, just stay calm. Uh, yeah, things will happen. We're in Aquarius age, Uranus. Look all that up. Uranus is suddenly something going to happen. You might lose people. People get sick. Learn how to heal yourself. I have a whole lot of that on my channel as well. How to heal yourself. This is the idea. Um, different plants, herbs, and things to use. Um, you know, just uh, try to deal with it as best you can. And, and your mental health and use your chakras and all that kind of great stuff. You know, just try to stay focused. So, looking bright. Cancer, cancer. So, let's see a little sum sum from Chakra Wisdom cards, okay? Maybe they can give us a little bit more insight. And then we'll get a, uh, some crystals and some oils and maybe some protective things to help out. Okay, let's see. Okay, that was a crazy deal. I had already shuffled them, but I'm going to do it again. That kind of little weak card. Okay, let's see. Little help. Okay, that one stayed in my hand. Force. Fourth chakra, heart chakra, okay, heart. Acceptance of self. It's time to rejuvenate myself by being myself, my, by giving myself love. I accept myself the way I am, and I remind myself that I cannot feel any better about life than how I feel about myself. I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I honor what my body is asking for, and if I am unsure, I will ask myself, what can I do to be healthier and more balanced than I am now? I dwell upon all that is right in my life, not what is wrong, and I have gratitude. I accept my life as it is now, and I move forward from here. Oh, that's a great card, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's do a little, let's see what crystal, hold on. Okay, yeah, I found one. Uh, see that modite, modivite. Okay, and it's the color green. Uh, expensive and usually rare. Okay, holistic, deep awareness of self. Okay, transformative power and good fortune. So the attributes and powers: caring, awareness, modivite, strengthens your ability to see the cosmic viewpoint rather than the narrow rigid earthbound way because of its intense vibration the stone links you to higher planes of consciousness and some say extraterrestrial enhancing your intuitive and universal connection on a more practical note motivate counteracts synthesis and enables you to see success on many levels it is a stone of good fortune and solves money worries by providing solutions not previously considered. Thinking out the box, this unconventional stone inspires unexpected solutions and a new directions to achieve one's dreams. Legendary usage, found in archaeological sites in Central Europe dating back to the Stone Age. Motivite was used not only for arrowheads and cutting tools, but as an amulet of good luck, good fortune. Fertility, maybe having problems with having children or something, and protection. In medieval European folklore, motivite was given as a betrothal gift to bring harmony to the married couple. Okay, maybe we want to get that spark back. All right, Cancer, we're going to do a little, we're going to look for the Oz book and see what they're saying. Okay, let's see. Stress relief. Calm the furious, the diminishes anger. 
and replaces negative thought. Roman, uh, uh, can, I know that's where the temp of my tongue, y'all see that word, I cannot say it for nothing in the world, um, can have a strong smell, so apply this away from your nose. So four drops of Roman chamomile, chamomile, com, that's not chamomile, okay, whatever. Three drops of lavender, three drops of clary sage, two drops of gentleman, one drop of yingling, yingling. How to use acid diffuser following manufacturer instructions. So, when you order these or get these, uh, or just make aromatherapy out of it, and I would burn it also for protection, because I know lavender and sage is for protection as well, as this one as well. So maybe that'll help, okay, for stress relief. You know, you get kind of, ah, because it's having us all doing that these days. Okay. So, okay, Cancer, Cancer, that's the little spare spare. And that's your little reading. I hope you appreciate it. Oh, hope, hope it resonated. Okay. Sometimes my mouth, I tell you. But, <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, not everybody, like I say, all according to the birth chart, what cancer I'm talking to, because some got it all together and it's not pertaining to you, okay? So I hope this helps in some kind of way. And this is your girl, Ruth, signing off. And until next time, would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it, y'all. All right, love y'all. Bye. Bye.